<laughs> All right, moving into chapter nine, the city of religious Elios. So the guild is actually traveling through where Adelgis grew up. We know they went to the Isle of Ruma at one point, and the apprentices were able to see their families, and now we're able to kind of get a glimpse into Adelgis's childhood. And surprise, surprise, it is a very, very scholarly city. It has a university, and it is well known for its research capacity. Zaxus has taken on his his motherly role of checking in on Adelgis, <laughs> making sure he's eating. Addy continues to make sassy comments about their relationship and how they're interacting. And Zaxus is powering through them and really taking it to heart to make sure that Adelgis is doing well. He's covering his shifts, really just looking out for him all around. When did Zaxus get so so nice? <laughs> he's reading books. He's caring for his friends. A changed man. Oh, shoot. Like, this is one of those other ones. Like, is, is this an imposter? Because he's, he's doing nice things. He's not just being Mr. Hothead. So Zaxus actually also shows us that the carriage that's holding the plague-ridden creatures is impervious to magic. And we find out that the word is cured and stained in Nullstone which is a type of rock that actually nullifies magic. And this is where Zaxxus is like, hey, look, I'm going to you know, use my fire against it and show you that nothing's going to happen. And this is extremely helpful and good to know just because if the plague-ridden <laughs> monsters are getting stronger and stronger, you want to have some way to prevent them from using their magic to escape. So very cool and interesting facet to the, the carriage. And even more than that, it's kind of that, like, what other practices, what other things could it be used for? Potentially very, very useful, not only in prisons, but I could also see it being used as military tactics somehow as well. So something definitely to, to see more into in the future. And at this point, Thane shows up and Zaxxus is ready to fight him right away. We are back to the original Zaxxus. <laughs> his good days are <laughs> over. He's back to his normal man. Volk breaks up the confrontation and really orders Zaxxus to stand down. After the situation de-escalates a little, Fane actually goes to Volk and asks him if he can tail him, almost to understand how he interacts with people, get a better understanding almost of how to be a friend. Fane kind of wants to be like Bayvax, you know, learn how to be a good healthcare provider. <laughs> yes, it, he really does. He wants to be better. And this points again to Volk's good judgment and faith in people as a whole. As they make it into the town, we come to know that Zelfri is going to go and actually confront Adelgis' dad. We know they had a bad history before, and Zelfri's not a fan of him. And he's less a fan of, you know, incubating the, the Abyssal all right and with that concludes this week's episode you can find us on podbean google Podcasts, apple Podcasts, basically anywhere that you can listen to podcasts we are also on youtube and if you want to join in on the fun you can find us on the facebook group uh, at Firth Guild Podcast. and if you want to reach out to us you can contact us at frithguildpod at gmail.com or send us a message on Facebook or comment on Facebook. In addition to all of that, we're going to also uh, put all of the links to everything down below, including the Frith Chronicles fandom. And we want to give a huge shout out to them as we do look up a lot of our information for the mystical creatures in there. And I know here with the soon release of the Kickstarter for the BCR that Shaming Stovall is putting out. I know some information will be updated shortly, so we just got to keep keep an eye on that. Thank you for listening. Scott, did you have anything else to add? Excited to, to get to the tourney. We're making our way to the tourney, and I'm very excited for it. All right, thank you all for listening. We'll see you next time.